mighty Mexican Telecaster. I think that this is the most important guitar under $1,000. I think that everyone that is learning or playing, at some point you need to have one of these guitars. Not the Epiphone Da, not an Epiphone Les Paul. This guitar can do everything that you would need to do. So here's the story. I'm sitting around, I'm on Facebook Marketplace, and I see a Telecaster that is a great deal. Uh, it was, he was asking $350, which right now, uh, in, you know, 10 years ago, that would be kind of right on the money, but now they're 450, 500 bucks. Um, and especially for like a clean original one. So to me, I was like, well, this is, this is a good guitar. And I go to send a message to just pay full price. I just think it's a good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. And I realized it's my friend Ryan. And I sent Ryan a text. I'm like, hey, I just saw your guitar. Uh, I'd love to buy it. And he sent a message back and like in a very kind of funny kind of tongue in cheek way, he's like, well, I'll sell it to you. But oh boy, if you're into it, that means that you must be able to make some money on it. And I said, yeah, full disclosure, like, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna buy it, make a video on it, talk about how they're great, and then I'm gonna find somebody to buy it. And he said, okay, that's fine, like if you can pay up today, cause he was basically, he was moving uh, really quick. Like they're packing up their house, they're getting ready to go, he just needed to turn this thing into cash. So we met, I grabbed the guitar, I brought it back here. Uh, so it only has a couple little issues. Uh, there's a ding up here, and there's a ding on the back and the uh, output jack is a little loose. So I'll fix all those things, those are easy. So the absolute first thing I notice when I look at this guitar is that all of these saddles are set exactly the same. Uh, I mean, maybe there's a little on the E, but this guitar is going to need to be intonated, and that will make it sound in tune up and down the fingerboard. Let's go ahead and check the harness real quick. One of the things that makes Telecasters so great is that they're so customizable, but it also is kind of a detriment because sometimes you'll have stuff that swaps you won't know unless you look at it. I think that this one's all original. I don't think there's anything that's ever been swapped on it. So this has full CTS pots. Um, yeah, this is very clean. Has, to, has a Fender. It's a Switchcraft switch, but this is all original. Fender. The solder all looks original. Just straight kind of set up. Three way switch. Cool. These pots feel super clean and very just reliable. I don't even know how this happens. I misplaced a screwdriver. I... Do you ever lose tools standing still? Like, is it in my pockets? Where, where is it? It's in my pocket. I found it. Dang it. But I found it. So now it's time to intonate the guitar.
So here is why you should have a Mexican Telecaster. One, it is incredibly diverse. It can play everything you would want to play. It can be spanky, clean. It can be super lush in the neck pickup. Uh, they're every sound that you would want. You can also pump up the gain on the bridge. The Telecaster bridge pickup is so bitey and powerful and present much thicker sounding uh, than like a Strat pickup. Like, so for me, I don't even think that, like I think Mexican Strats are hit or miss, but I think that a Telecaster is super diverse and powerful, cool. Uh, it's just a very good guitar. <laughs> The second thing is they're completely customizable. What's cool about these is that you can change every part and piece on this if you want. You can change the tuners, you can change the bridge. All of the hardware is pretty standard and you can find parts all over the place. I've seen people swap Mexicans, Mexican tellies into Esquires. You can do a four-way switch in them. You can do a push-pull. You can do mini hums uh, front and back. I mean, there's just so many cool things that you can do. They are totally customizable. And the third thing is they're really affordable. Even though they've come up in price in the last couple of years, in my mind, they're 250 to 350, but I'm kind of stuck eight, 10 years ago. So now these guitars, I mean, for $500, this plays as well and feels as good as an American telly from the 90s and early 2000s. Like, I really don't feel that much of a difference. Uh, so for me, it's just, it packs such a punch and they're such a great guitar. The downsides, there are a couple downsides. Downsides with them is that they don't typically, they didn't come with a hard case new. And so unless someone has paid to put them into a hard case, that's gonna be a problem. So mine came in a gig bag. It actually came in a gig bag for a classical guitar, which I don't care that much. Um, it's fine, uh, but it doesn't come with a hard case. That can be a problem or annoying for some people. The second thing is that the only real thing on a Mexican telly that to me does not feel as good as the Americans of the same period, because you have to think like, CTS pots, CTS switch. Uh, the pickups aren't quite as good as the Americans, but you could swap those out pretty easy. But the thing that still feels very different than the American counterparts is the finish. So this has a pretty thick polyurethane finish, and when it takes bonks, it chips. And it doesn't do it like pretty or graciously. Uh, they're just kind of big chunks that get taken out. So I'm gonna do, you know, a pretty, not a great fix, but I'm just gonna draw less attention to them. So I'm just gonna use a permanent marker, color in over the wood, cause it's all on the edge. It'll be about the same color and uh, it, it will not be hidden, but it will be concealed. <laughs> So that is why I think that the Telecaster, the Mexican Telecaster is the most important guitar under $1,000 if you're looking for a good electric guitar. It's super diverse, it's totally customizable, uh, and it's really affordable. All of these things play together into where you have one guitar that can do pretty much everything that you would need to do. They are very cool, they're very affordable. This one is going to be for sale. It will be on my website. Uh, so that's jeremythegutarhunter.com. You can buy this guitar. I'm gonna have some other inventory up there. So go ahead, check it out. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I hope you fill the world with music and friendship as you find cool guitars that light your soul on fire. All right, I'll see you guys later.